What does the job market look? This is a big question that everybody always asks when it comes to AI. What does the job market look and the when it comes to AI? The thing that you always hear is AI is taking our jobs. In my version I believe that's true. Uh but explain it in 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 your perspective. AI what jobs AI. So there's going to be an impact on jobs. You know, there's one adage that I always say, AI will not take your jobs, but someone using AI will take your job. And we need to remember that. Just say that one again. AI will not take your job, but someone using AI will take your job. Uh, you know, knowing that will happen eventually, uh, you want to tool yourself accordingly. So there's an impact, yes, to the job market. Entry entry level you know coding used to be tough you had to do all the things that this gentleman uh, did you know for them to be able to but all of us can be able to code so barriers of entry have been taken out for the most part uh, the other impact is going to be it's going to be a little bit easier to do day to day activities similar to what you used to do with a gps how do i get point a to point b you don't have to think about it too much you don't have to get the tech guys you don't have to outsource all this stuff to someone else who's sometimes a little difficult to work with you can do everything in house the best way that you can so it's going to enable you to be a little bit more efficient it's going to yes impact some of our jobs that's why we need to retool even in our school systems a couple of years ago in the states most of the states required people to actually do coding because you know that everything that's going to be done is going to be using technology so there's going to be a, sh- a definite shift that's needed did i answer your question beautifully you i love the fact that you say ai is not going to take your jobs somebody who knows how to use ai is going to be the one who's going to take that job i'm going to give you a practical example shooting our cts iso and wamai i shoot our cts with iso and wamai the rest i do editing subtitles uploading uh chopping it up I'm the one who does that it's not even going to be me doing that I'm literally going to shoot and upload and that upload will will be in three versions a french version an english version and I'm looking at also having it in a chinese version before I needed to employ people to do that are you getting so I'm going to be chinese china yeah, you, famous the one who I want to yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sheshe. Sheshe. <laughs> so Sheshe means thank you. And let me say this, this is not in 5 years. This is now. This is now. Full stack is a name that you need to be given. And it means not just doing the production from my industry, but we're talking about production, distribution of content, uh, subtitling and sending it to all the different social media platforms in the different dimensions ai already does that vid.io already does that um app.video.ai already does that so again i say there's an ai for that i want us to 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 no you look like you want to say something sense. yeah so so it used to be uh you know people who ever wanted to be in the music industry was a knee uh, they had to go through a certain way but now as you can actually create a song you've seen the gen z song that people have created i'm not going to say what it is but but you've all seen that <laughs> yes unangu kanayo like you know what you said to salimia uh you know i've seen actually capabilities where you have me and richie sitting down here and someone takes an audience for a few minutes then you could create the whole session based on ai sorry richie <laughs> it won't take your job it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to do your job is hey take 5 minutes of this take 5 minutes of the audience that's it then you can create and change the script itself that i'm speaking in the style of alex gacheche on this video can you create alex come boyka yes come alex come boyka you ought to me boyka you know so it, it it's able to learn a lot of things Have you just heard what he said? You know what that does? It changes the core reason as to why CT exists. Because what's going to happen? Deep fake. Deep fake means 
people using your image and likeness. The reason why Hollywood was striking is because when the actors wanted to act, you were going to sign off your, your rights, your image and likeness. And then they were going to create a whole other script without you ever acting. They just use AI. Now, why does CTA then become important? CTA becomes literally the Wikipedia. Because during elections, which is coming soon, sooner than we may think, <laughs> what's going to happen? Big shout out to Martha Karua for coming to CTA. And big shout out to Diana for hooking me up with Martha Karua. She's in the room. <laughs> so what's going to happen? And I'm telling you, watch, and watch this. People are going to put take Ruto's likeness, they already have his audio, and they are going to type and make him say what he's going to say and begin sending it in WhatsApp. So people are going to look, what is the authentic source of truth? And suddenly, CTA becomes Wikipedia. If you want to hear this guy's real story, go to Wikipedia. CTA suddenly, people are going to want to pay me because they're like, let's get data from him to input into the AI. This is the data source that we know is authentic. And so, so when I tell you the reasons for what it is that you do, do not exist yet. The jobs that we do today, did they exist when you were finishing university? No. So I want you to understand, don't even limit your thinking to what you think you know. Let me say this, because I'm there's 12 slices of pizza. The first slice is what you know you know. The second slice is what you know you don't know. But there's 10 other slices, and that's what you don't know you don't know. Put your, throw yourself into that world of what you don't know you don't know. There's insane capabilities. Yes, he said AI is going to take jobs, but the amount of jobs that are about to be created, we can't even fathom the job opportunities. Think about the internet, before the internet came. When the internet came, yes, it took some jobs, but how many more jobs did it create? Cool? I want us to... Yeah. And, and any of you guys who remember how tough it was to get a landline in Kenya? Mnakumbuka? It was super hard. Cell phones changed. The game changer. Now you pay everything to M-Pesa. You know, M-Pesa is actually a game changer in the world. Everything else has been modeled on it. So that's why I want you guys to also start thinking. I'm interjecting to just make sure that you guys think you're global good, not just Kenya good. You know, Alex... It's, it's a blessing to have around here. When this guy talks about M-Pesa being ahead, do you know there's something called WhatsApp Pay? Do you know there's an M-Pesa version of WhatsApp? I'm not sure if we can share a little bit about that, <laughs> but just to the limit of what you can share. Yeah, yeah, so it's been piloted in India and Brazil, and it's doing well. You know, so I think at some point we'll see it here. You know. I... I uh, are you able to talk about the data cables that have arrived? Or are you able to? Yes, so their capabilities. <laughs> Looks like I already did. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it's, <laughs> yes, and it's actually public knowledge. Okay. Uh, you know, for us to enable capabilities that will help connect the world, and the data cables that landed uh, in Mombasa probably a couple of months ago, and they're in the process of being proliferated. Kenya has actually one of the highest internet speeds in the world. Top 10. Yes. And then proliferation of how you guys use your capabilities, you know, everywhere. You go to Embo, I go to Embo, and the guy, whatever, I'm like, Pia, who can sell who can a smartphone better than mine? You know? So that's, that's a game changer by itself, yes. But talking about capabilities, yes. Uh, some cables have landed, and it's a collaboration between uh, Meta and Google as well. Have you guys heard that? When you travel across Africa, you begin to understand how blessed we are in Kenya. And I need to say this because of the people in the room, you're not here by mistake. This country, we are a lighthouse to the world. Our positioning is so godly, I can't even stress it. The fact that we're able to talk about our president in the manner in which we're able to talk about <laughs> shows you our, our thing. Our internet infrastructure we complain he's going to the Mara in a couple of days. In the Mara, there are trees that you see, but what you don't know is that those trees are actually maths, safari called maths, that, that in the Mara, while you're there, you can have 4G and 5G coming in. We are leading, he says we're top 10 in the world on internet. You get what I mean? Our electricity, the, I just want you to understand the mentality of the positioning of being in Kenya. 
I was in Zambia last year for two months and, I, and that completely changed my mind because uploading 5 GBs was taking me half a day. I upload CTA in 4K, 30 GB in less than an hour. Yeah, I just wanted to add the human resource is also the game changer. Yeah. The human. I remember when we were growing up and when uni back in the day, what Moi said is that sit up at my job, Papa. You guys need to look out for the opportunities. I'm a product of that. Mm. So, yes, the capabilities are there, but now it's actually easier for you to work in your bedroom in Embu somewhere and work for a global company. And that's what changed. So, capabilities are there. You guys are really good at what you do, but at the same time, you can do what you can do to change the world from your bedroom in Embu. So your job market is not limited to the borders of Kenya. Your job market is suddenly, and I've got a lot of friends currently in Kenya who actually work for global companies in Kenya. So they are, again, the power of COVID. COVID allowed Zoom and made online working a norm. Okay, I want us to get into VR just quickly, and then we are going to take a slight break, and then we are going to now come and touch into the conversation of the technician. Because what you're hearing him saying is that there's a mentality that we need to have in order then to um, be a part of this tech. But let's, let's touch virtual reality. What is virtual reality? Let's talk about this space. 